What is up, creator? It is awfully good to see you. It's Sunday morning. I thought I'd make a quick video digging into some of the animated lower thirds with Dockable Control Center, um, the, the little parameters that come with each lower third box that you have available. Uh, some of the tasks that we're going to accomplish is helping you understand how to reveal the logo graphics. Sometimes you can hide it and if you're not used to the parameters, it, it makes you feel like it's broken when it really isn't. And we're also going to discuss how to bring in two lower thirds at the same time, one coming in from the left and one coming in from the right at the same time. And we're going to get that done right now. Let's get some. Mm. <laughs> I'm reading a lot of comments about this problem. Aaron McDonald sums it up beautifully. Hey, I'm having trouble adding my church logo. I have put it in the logo folder, and when I add it to the lower third, it does not show up. Can you tell me what to do? Aaron, I apologize for not getting back to you sooner. Uh, just my, my <laughs> production is just the, the ideas are just piling in, and I have so many ideas, and I'm just trying to get out as much content as possible. I apologize for not getting back to you sooner, my friend. I'm going to help you understand what I think has got you confused. It's much simpler than you might think. Let's dig into it right now. Okay, here we are in OBS. We have a working lower third that it's functioning properly. Just to let you know, assuming that you put the graphic in the right place, which is program files, OBS dash studio, animated dash lower dash thirds, logos folder assuming it is here i was told by another creator it doesn't have to be the exact dimension of the default graphics that are dropped in here so keep that in mind but it does have to be a ping it can't be a jpeg assuming that that's the way it is then it should work in the program let's go back to the program and as you can see we can see the graphic one of the reasons why this will vanish is because there is a style parameter that gives you three options in regards to how this thing animates and looks so currently as you can see right here this is the show hide logo image parameter if i click it it goes away okay so that's a toggle all right so if i turn it back on it comes back on that could be one of the issues Another issue is if you go up here to the style parameter and you go from one to two, watch the image insertion parameter goes away. It's ghosted. And then you just see that style. If you go to three, it changes the animation, but the image remains ghosted. You see, it doesn't unghost. So if I click it and turn it back on, then it works. So it's not a matter of a issue on your behalf. It's just a slight misunderstanding on how the software functions in regards to the relation of the three styles. If you go from one to three, the icon that allows you to see the graphic will remain ghosted. And that's what adds to the confusion. I hope that helped you out, Aaron. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Sense makes none makes another great comment. He says, is there a way of having the lower third display in the bottom left for the host and then say the bottom right for the guest using the same tool or would I need to have two versions of the tool with two browser sources and set them different? No, you will not have to do that. Sense makes none. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Here we go. Okay, we're back in OBS and I have two lower thirds and uh, let me turn on the new one here. You guys can tell me. Who is this guy? Can anybody identify it? Why is the question mark important? Okay, um, so if I turn him on, he's coming in from the left. Obviously, if I turn him off and I bring Johnny in, he is also coming in from the left. The question is, how do we get the other one to come in from the right? And it's very simple, but I can understand why it might confuse you. And that is, you see the align left, align middle, align right. You would think that applies to the text within the containing box for the lower third. That, that is, is not, not correct. correct. If I go down to lower third two and check off the right alignment and then turn it on, it moves it to the far right corner. It is a placement parameter, not a text alignment parameter. And that's why it makes it confusing. If you want to adjust how far away it is from the edge, then you're going to want to modify the horizontal parameter here by hitting the up arrow and it increases it by, I believe, pixels or maybe not pixels, maybe some other parameter. But as you can see, it does move pretty good when you change that parameter. So that's how you adjust it to come out from the outside edge. You can do that with the other one as well. 
Now I want to let you know, I read all my comments. I think if you've been here for a while, you understand that clearly. I do my best to answer all your questions. And if you have an idea that might fit the general gist of this channel in regards to understanding software or techniques that help your channel grow in regards to video software and that kind of thing, let me know in comments. I read them and I will get back to you and let you know if I put it in my to-do list which is getting bigger by the minute, by the way. Um, but regardless, let me know and I'll make a video for you and give you a shout out, okay? Now I'm just starting to cut my teeth on learning OBS Streamlabs. It's quite incredible, especially in regards to bringing in a browser source from that website into OBS Studio and using that for your live stream and I'm going to be providing a video on notifications in regards to what you show the user when you get a subscribe and when you get a super chat it is quite amazing what you can do with it in regards to custom graphics and sound effects I will see you over there best wishes stay strong and keep fighting